In this video, I'll show you how to fix the reference memory error could not be read. So there's actually a few ways to solve this. The first method is by heading over to your start menu and searching for CMD, and then you need to right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. In this window, type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then hit enter. Now this is going to perform a full system scan of your computer just to ensure that none of your files are damaged or corrupted. So you need to wait for this verification to get to 100%. Now, once it's complete, you can check to see if that solved your issue. If it's still not working, the next solution is to head over to your start menu, search for services, and then click on the services window. From here, we need to scroll down until you see the game input service, which is at these two here. And what we're going to do is just double click on this, change the startup type to disabled, and then press apply and OK. And you're also going to do the same for this one here by double clicking on it and changing the startup type to disabled and press apply and OK. Now, if it only lets you change one of these game input services, then that's absolutely fine. You can just try to see if that fixes your issue. Now, if you're still getting the error message, the next solution is to head over to your start menu, search for adjust the appearance, and then click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click on the advanced tab and next to virtual memory, select change. Then uncheck this box next to automatically manage paging file size. And we're going to select custom size from this drop down. For the initial size, you want to set this to your recommended amount, which is the number down here. So for my computer, that's going to be 3893. And then for the maximum size, we're just going to set this to a number that's slightly above the currently allocated. So my currently allocated is 24576. So I'm going to set mine to 24580 like this and then press OK. And as you can see, you'll need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. So just press OK and then apply and OK. And then you can restart your computer and that should have now solved your issue. So that's it, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.